Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we will delve into the history of the summer solstice. The June solstice is the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere and the shortest day of the year in the southern hemisphere. It marks the arrival of summer and has been celebrated for thousands of years from people all over the world. Humans have been observing the summer solstice as far back as the Neolithic period 12,000 years ago as a way to determine when to plant and harvest crops. The earliest evidence of observing the summer solstice comes from ancient Egypt. The rise of the Nile River coincided with the summer solstice. Observing the summer solstice would have helped ancient Egyptians uh, predict flooding patterns of the Nile. The summer solstice also marked the beginning of the ancient Egyptian New Year. Some Egyptian structures were built in accordance with the summer solstice. For example, if you stand in front of the Sphinx, you can see the sun set exactly between the pyramids of Khafra and Khufu. In ancient Greece, the summer solstice started the New Year. Kronia was a festival that honored the Greek god of agriculture Cronus, and it was held around the time of the summer solstice. During Kronia, everyone, slaves and masters, peasants and nobles, all dined together and participated in the festival together. In the days preceding the summer solstice in ancient Rome, the Romans celebrated Vestalia, honoring the goddess of the hearth, Vesta. Married women would go to the temple of Vesta and donate offerings to Vesta in exchange for blessings for their families. European pagans lit bonfires on summer solstice with the belief that it would increase the sun's energy and provide a good harvest for the fall season. It's also thought that bonfires could remove demons and evil spirits and guide women to their future husbands. They also believed that evil spirits would appear on summer solstice, and to shield themselves from these spirits, people wore garlands of herbs and flowers. The Mayans also built structures in accordance with the summer solstice. At the temple of Kukul Khan in Chichen Itza, during a summer solstice, one side of the temple is entirely dark, whereas the other side is bright in. Kukul Khan was the Mayan snake god of rebirth. Stonehenge is a monument located in southern England comprised of massive stones. Stonehenge is a site whose use has been disputed for a long time with there being multiple theories how and why the monument was built. On the morning of the day of the summer solstice at Stonehenge, the sun rises behind the heel stone. Thousands of people still gather around Stonehenge to celebrate the summer solstice. In ancient China, the summer solstice was a public holiday. It was linked to yin, the feminine force of the universe. Festivals honored femininity and the earth. Dragon boat racing is a common tradition on the day of the summer solstice, which is believed to repel bad luck. The bighorn medicine wheel is an arrangement of stones which aligned with the summer solstice. It was constructed by Native Americans living in northern Wyoming several hundred years ago. It was the site of that culture's sun dance. Many Native American tribes still perform sun dance rituals today on the day of the summer solstice. Vikings would come together to work out legal matters and disputes during the summer solstice. They would go to wells and, and that were believed to have healing powers and they would create large bonfires. Catholic Christians celebrate St. John's Day around the time of the summer solstice, commemorating the birth of St. John the Baptist. Summer solstice celebrations today are distinctly popular in Scandinavian countries. People tell stories around a bonfire, girls wear flowers in their hair, and homes are adorned with greenery. Maypoles are built and people dance around them. Do you celebrate the summer solstice? And if you do, how do you celebrate it? Please let me know in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.